around Donald Trump, this guy, he's a joke, he's crazy, all this stuff, right? And meanwhile, this was also true. My personal belief is that you can think whatever you want to think about Donald Trump. To, to Again, I'm not like ringing the bell or waving a banner on behalf of the Republican Party or Donald Trump. I'm simply saying that in order to criticise and condemn a lack of moral integrity in a particular group or set of people, you literally have to be coming from a place of integrity yourself. Otherwise, you don't have anything. All due during that time, they were spying, they were making up lies, they were saying stuff that wasn't true. With all that piety and like, Donald Trump, he's bad for America. He's bad for America. Don't worry about that. Stop spying. Start acting legit. Start giving people something to vote for. Start caring about ordinary people. Dial down your contempt for ordinary Americans. Open up your hearts, open up your minds and start representing in a way that's worthy of the population of America. I love what he said. To try to attack someone's integrity, you literally have to be coming from a place of integrity. And when it came to politicians and the mainstream media, Silicon Valley, all the like, they weren't coming from a place of integrity because they're not doing anything good either. They're corrupt. They lie. They, 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 they line their pockets why the irregular American people are suffering. They weren't coming from a place of like, oh my God, we love democracy so much. We love Americans so much. We love American people so much. We love all these marginalized communities so much this is why we're ringing the alarms that's not why they did it they did it because they just wanted to take the power back again everybody knows if Donald Trump ran as a liberal or, or, or Democrat that wouldn't have happened they just want the power they're coming from a place of corruption they're coming from a place of elitism and they're coming from a place of we want the power we just don't want you to have it right um, the the lying the biases the censorship the the lack of transparency none of that is a place of integrity you know what I mean so I love that he said that I mean Russell Brand red pill right <laughs> he's still a hippie socialist and I love him for it um, but he's definitely come a long way I've noticed in the last even two years I think it started like four years ago maybe even six years ago but I feel like definitely in the last two years he's kind of like hmm um, you know what I mean so Loves it. And the thing is, I like what he was saying. Like, you don't have, like, I think people would think pointing these things out make you a Trump supporter or make you, like, a raging Trump lover. And that's what keeps people from wanting to point it out because they don't want to be labeled that horrible label of a Trumper, right? But that's just mean pointing out truth and pointing out facts for what it is. That is coming from a place of integrity. That is what you're supposed to do. But anyway, tell me guys what do you think of Russell Brand and his red pill journey in the comment section below. And you guys have an amazing day.